What's going on, folks? Pat here at Con Scale Dreams. So today we are going to unbox this Dick Landy 68 Dodge Dart GTS um, with figure. It says. Um, so just a little. Um, according to Scale Mates, this kit I wouldn't. This kit was issued in 2005. Um, to my knowledge, it wasn't uh, re-released at all. Uh, so this is the only time it was released was in 2005. Um, so originally, uh, Ravel put out uh, a Mr. Norm kit in 2000, which you can see here. Um, so originally that's when they came out with the 68 Dart, and then in 2010, they had this one, which was the Dodge Dart Hemi, as you can see here. Uh, so they released that in 2010, 11, and 17. I have that kit as well, but, um, yeah. So today we're obviously doing the Dick Landy. Okay, so let's get down to it. Let's open this box. Let's have a look. Okay, so 115 pieces. Skill level 2. Just some drag racing background there. So here you can see your little Dick here. Standing beside his car. Some more uh, photos of the build. So yeah, it says 2005 here. So 852831. So let's go ahead and check this out. I've had this kit for quite some time. Box is a little beat up around the edges and a bit of crease here, but um, never really opened it up. Well, had a look, but okay. So I'll just take all this stuff out. Nicely packaged, as we can see in the corner, our little dick there, he's still pretty hard, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I'll just move this to the side, start with the chrome. Okay. We got our stock rims, rear fascia and bumpers all one piece, front bumper, front grill, the molding for the bottom of the hood. Um, mirrors, valve covers, inserts for the hood. Oops, sorry. I'll keep this in focus here. Okay, engine alternator, front and back of the alternator, carb, bumperettes, um, windshield wipers. So it looks pretty good. Everything looks nice, no flash. So that's good. Uh, center console and then also in this bag we get a nice set of craggers so those look really nice quickly just have a look at that see how good this mold is so it doesn't say SS in the center but still, they're quite quite nice. There's some knockoffs there. Oh, okay, so these are knockoff. Huh, interesting. You wouldn't think that's something you'd put on a, on a drag car. Pro stock, Dick Landing. Okay, so we'll check out the body first. Body looks really nice. You can see some mold 
molding lines here. Your line, these are sharp edges, kind of as usual in the same usual areas. So this does have the GTS on it. Um, I did notice it had the same rims as the Mr. Norm kit. Nice uh, molding in the headliner there, except for these ejection marks. So it looks really crisp. Very little flash, a little bit on the wheel wells and on the back panel here. But otherwise, it's going to be separate uh, door handles, so that's nice. Those were on the chrome tree. I missed those. Here's our reds in that, in that, included in that bag. Um, so, interior looks really good, carpet, um, looks really good, engine, halves, seat backs, front seats, wheel backs, shocks, <coughs> power, steer, steering box, so these must be under hood supports. And then we have our uh, pedals. So and the chassis looks really nice. Okay, we got our firewall, rad core. Battery looks really nice, except for this this uh, tray thing that it's supposed to be. Front. Uh, Sway. Um, God, what do you call these again? Oh my God. <laughs> so this is more of the core support for the uh, the um, hood latch, rear shocks, battery, uh, booster, okay, um, rad. And the shroud. Okay, what are these called again? Jesus, what is wrong with my mind today? <laughs> I can't come up with the word. Uh, I'll put it. <laughs> we all know what they are. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is an automatic transmission cover. Looks really good. It's got the bolt head on it. Heads on bolt head detail intake and we have our stock uh, oil pan our heads um, water pump assembly K member rear end cover front so here oh okay so we have manifolds and the full Manifolds in the full, um, oh, that's kind of neat, uh, connected uh, exhaust H-pipe or whatever. Sun visors, sun visors, I got it, sun visors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we got a hood with the GTS logo. Uh, this must be in between the bumpers, or in between the... The bumper and the grill so that insert so our uh, headrests I believe starter hoses for your um, heater hoses top of the uh, dash so this is a dash pad really nice engraving there on the on the door cards Nice looking fan, it's not fat, it looks really thin, it looks really good. Case okay, factory steering wheel, uh, coil, uh, horn, and oh, our air cleaner. So that's good. I'm doing good, I'm remembering everything. Then we got our clears. So this comes with. 
Oh yeah, that's the wing and the the uh, B pillar windows. So that's nice. And then here is the. This must be what they added into the kit. So this is the headers. Uh, some that's weird wheel box. And then you have a different uh, rear end. So this doesn't come with covers and the uh, with the pinion thing or whatever. Um, so it must use the stock ones. I'm imagining, but I would imagine these are super stock springs, so they sit up higher. That's what I'm thinking. So, which is really cool, and then a deep, deep sump oil pan. So that's cool. Really cool. Okay, and then we have our tires. The other tires in the box there, so so nothing on them. Must be decals, big and little. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Um, decals, so we, we like to see. Okay, so they look. They look okay. There's a little bit of pitting on them. That sucks. Hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to use these. Okay, and then just more sponsorship. Some Landy Dodge GTS um, emblem stuff. More sponsorship, more so your side lights or mark markers, air cleaner decal, air cleaner, some more decals for drag stuff, Dick Landy Dodge, Oop. and then we have our uh, gauge face. Gauge face. Oh, that must be. This goes on the center console. It's kind of interesting. It would be an automatic, but so yeah. Here's your park reverse. All that stuff. Oh, maybe that's the radio. Yeah, that's radio, and that's the. Uh, that goes on your shifter. So there's that. Your engine. So it doesn't show the uh, exhaust manifolds, but it shows the headers. But the exhaust manifolds are included, so you can build this stock. But it doesn't say that anywhere on the box. It doesn't show it in the pictures on the box doesn't show it in the directions which is kind of interesting but you can build this stock see it only shows the the aftermarket this one it doesn't show the other rear end that is in the kit all the tires however it doesn't come with um, it just comes with the four tires like the big and little so you don't get the stock tires in the kit but you have everything to build it stock so that's kind of interesting although they don't advertise for it or show it on the box so that's kind of interesting to note if you do buy this kit, you can build it stock. And here we have it. Little Dick. So you can see him there. He's got his 
A little stogie there in his helmet. Means business. Apparently he used to race with that uh, stogie in his mouth. Watched some old, uh, some old footage there back in the day. Uh, of him back in the day. It's kind of funny. Got a stogie in his mouth and he's just ratcheting. Just going through the gears. That's kind of cool. So that's cool. I think I'm going to use him in, in the videos in the future. But um, So anyways, I just want to thank everybody for checking out the video. Um, and I uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. Pat out. Little dick out. Model on.